And I'm sure that the rain that we saw yesterday did not help matters. And it's a really good point that's made in that report. How much more, or minus nine wind chill, I should say, how much more snowfall might we see? We're really on the tail end of all of this. Midwestern Ontario set to see upwards of five at most, and we would see less than two more centimeters of snow. Now, in terms of the temperatures, yes, I was mentioning how we're going to be declining. It begins on Sunday, steps down even further for Monday. Despite the sunshine, at least it will be bright but we're looking at very cold values. Uh, you know, wind chills here in the minus 10 range by the time we get to Wednesday and then Thursday, some more precipitation. So it doesn't look like we're starting spring off very spring-like at all. Seven day forecast in Hamilton. We've got those snow showers coming in. This will be more so an early day Saturday event, overnight Friday, uh, but then by Sunday and then Monday, we step down to minus four. No sign of slowing down. Coming up. <laughs> and of course, uh, spring arriving today, I decided to wear something that kind of matches some of these beautiful blooms. It's all not coincidence. <laughs> Let's take a look. I'm trying to psychologically get into the mood of spring, and maybe you are too. Should not necessarily see those lasting through the overnight. We'll have clear conditions for the most part as our system departs. The winds have been a little bit brisk now from the west as the system moves away. Ottawa and Montreal also going to be seeing improving conditions. And then we see a little bit of a lull throughout Friday. However, late Friday and into Saturday morning, this warm front will push in. There's a possibility of seeing a little bit of freezing rain along that but we will likely see um, more precipitation for Saturday morning in the form of some snowfall. It's a tad colder the next system. Today's snowfall forecast around the GTA would see less than two centimeters to go as the system continues to depart. What about temperatures? Well, look that they're getting a lot colder even into next week. We're looking at sun and cloud and minus four on Wednesday. This weather. I picked out the pink jacket just for this opportunity to welcome spring. <laughs> and I hope that you are enjoying your day so far. Yes, yeah, spring is here finally. If only the weather would cooperate with us, then life would be good. But unfortunately, we still have a lot of cold air in place across the country. Taking a look at our current conditions now across the country, kind of a wide scope here of our conditions. Now, six in Vancouver, slightly below the average. But once you get into Calgary at minus two and then progress all the way to Atlantic Canada, uh, we'd be happy to see temperatures be at seasonal. Unfortunately, we're heading toward a trend whereby we see temperatures now 10, in some cases 15 degrees below the average as we head into next week. Our meteorologist Doug Gillum wrote about it extensively and gave some really colorful maps online at theweathernetwork.com talking about just that trend as we head into the late part of March and early part of April looks to be on the cold side. The rainfall forecast between now and late, or rather midday tomorrow, along the coast of Nova Scotia set to see rainfall from the next system coming in. However, uh, we're going to be seeing that snowfall across the northern portions of New Brunswick to the tune of 10 to 15 centimeters of snow. The dividing line essentially is right along uh, Fredericton through Moncton where we have the best chance of mixing. So you kind of like a little bit in both scenarios, the rain and then the snowfall. Back into Ontario today though, we're seeing the low pressure system depart. We have seen uh, some little bit of snow flurry activity around the GTA, but largely it is all coming to an end as the system progresses to the east. In terms of temperatures, the wind chills are seen in blue. So for example, in Toronto, a two degree is feeling like minus four when you factor in those winds from the west, but have been at times gusting over 30 kilometers per hour. So a, a moderate wind, but nevertheless, when you have a temperature being two degrees, it doesn't take much to get it to feel below freezing. We have a low pressure system moving across the prairies here. With that, there have been some free, freezing rain concerns in Saskatchewan. Those have since died down. The low pressure system moves off into Ontario and becomes the next weather maker there for late Friday through Saturday. And then the cold conditions settle in once again across Alberta. We we're talking about well below average temperatures. The beginning part of that is today, but more so tomorrow. Big snows up into the mountains and on the BC side of things, eight in Vancouver, nine for Victoria. We're kind of in a bit of a lull right now. However, we do have temperatures that are just slightly below the average. Trying to get out of that snow. Well, we've seen a lot of snowfall around Georgian Bay, uh, both on the 
uh, eastern side and the south side. In fact, there was even uh, some school closures. There were some sc school closures near uh, Midland just yesterday because of the excessive amounts of snow. And that was really the line. Once you headed north, yeah, you got into the snowfall. The south was seeing rain, as we know, because it was mild enough to see that changeover across the south of the province. Okay, well, that low pressure system is on its way out. We have high pressure, albeit briefly, <laughs> because this next low is coming in. And with that, there will be, um, this system tends to be a little bit colder than the previous one so it's a better shot of snowfall for Toronto for example with about five centimeters of snow late Friday so it'll be mostly when you're sleeping into Saturday morning is when we're going to see the bulk of that the current system right now that's what this snapshot is for we're likely to see maybe a little bit more of a dusting as the system departs but overall improving conditions at least uh, high pressures building in temporarily uh, let's go to winter we should all make an effort to at least eventually come to an end a butterfly conservatory <laughs> and a greenhouse are musts uh, during the long winter season, especially this long winter season, which just doesn't seem to want to uh, come to an end. So I think um, in terms of the ice cover, we're right now, if we look at the totality of this, we're at, sitting at 81% ice coverage. Overall, we still have quite a bit of it in place across the Great Lakes. That number hasn't gone down all that much. I think the highest number we reached was 94% total. But we do have some strong west winds, or at least moderate winds, for the remainder of the day before a ridge of high pressure builds in and Friday late day rain. Oh, did you see the look there he gave? Oh. Uh, on the subject of video, Kim, I wanted to add one more. This is just a snapshot. I'm not playing the video here, but that's a bear. This is from Banff. So it just goes to show you, bears are coming out of hibernation, so they know it's spring. The weather is not necessarily cooperating. Meteorologist Doug Gillum put a great article uh, together that's online at theweathernetwork.com, and, and there are many different colorful maps there, but this one is indicative of the temperature um, and average. At least that's the trend, how it appears to be going for the first part of April. So you can read the full details online. I just want to give you a snapshot. This is Winnipeg's forecast over the next week. So minus four, but then dropping down into the minus teens in many cases. So it just kind of gives you an idea of the cold that we're going to be experiencing for some. The winter review, today is the first day of spring. Happy spring to you. But we look at uh, Halifax's snowfall from the winter season. The total, 215 centimeters of snow. And in Toronto, we saw 101 centimeters of snow this past winter.